This is one section of my six part finger picking jump start course. This is a course that's gonna take you from knowing absolutely nothing about finger picking all the way to playing your first song. Now one thing before you start, you're gonna need the tablature for this course. It's a six part course and there's tabs for each section and I want you to have those. So I've created a free course guide that contains links to every lesson, the tabs that are necessary for every lesson and the arrangement of the song that you're gonna play at the end. All you have to do to get this free course guide is click the link here in the video or in the description. Tony Policastro here, and today we're gonna learn the classic Elizabeth Cotton tune, Freight Train. This is a finger picking, a must know finger picking song, and there's tons of different arrangements out there. You can hear anything from super complicated ones to super simple ones, and this one is on the more simple end of the spectrum, and I think it's a great kind of introduction to finger picking and this whole idea and, and integration of this notion called the pinch. Now, this whole entire song is all based out of quarter notes. So the rhythmic pulse of the whole song is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. When we need to add a melody note, we use a pinch. When we need to keep the bass going, we use our thumb. If they happen at the same time, it's a, it's a finger picker's delight. So. All of that being said, make sure that you know a C chord, an F chord, a G chord, and an E minor chord, and let's get started on Freight Train. We're gonna have a look at section one, which is gonna be measures one and two, and what I want you to know about this section, this entire section, is that it's all over a C chord, and we're gonna be using our pinky to kind of add some notes to make sure we get all the melody notes. So the kind of we'll call it a home position, is the C chord, which is gonna be your index finger on the first fret of the B string, middle finger, second fret of the D, ring finger, third fret of the A. And the first addition we're gonna be making is our pinky finger on the third fret of the high E. Now one more thing I want you to know about this section is that it's all quarter notes, as is the entire song, and we're gonna be using that pinching technique. So our thumb and our middle finger are gonna be doing the pinching. Just keep that in mind, it'll kind of keep you on track. So we're gonna start, again, with this chord shape. Make sure it's a C with your pinky on the third fret of the high E. And with our thumb on the A string, middle finger on the high E, we're gonna pinch those two strings together. The thumb's gonna drop to the D. We're gonna lift up the pinky and uh, pinch the A string and high E string together again. And then the thumb's gonna drop to the D. Pinky's gonna move to the third fret of the B. Now we're gonna be pinching the A string and the B string together, and that's again with the thumb and middle finger on your picking hand. Thumb drops to the D string, lift up the pinky, pinch the A and B string together again, and then thumb drops to the D. So if you just look at the thumb's action through this entire section, actually through the whole song, it's continually using this alternating bass kind of pulse. So it sounds like this. That's all the thumb does, pretty much through the whole entire song. Now the strings will change, but that pulse is gonna be there. And we're obviously adding the melody when we do those pinches. So section one, we're gonna have a look at in its entirety right now.
Measures three and four compose section two, and that whole section is gonna be over a G chord. So our pinky finger is gonna be on the third fret of the high E, and our ring finger is gonna be on the third fret of the low E. Now I'm really only gonna be using these two notes, so instead of making a full G, I'm just gonna use these two fingers and call it good. So we're gonna start with our thumb hitting the low E, then the thumb's gonna drop to the D, then we're gonna pinch the low E and the high E together with our thumb and middle finger. Thumb drops to the D. Our index finger on our fretting hand is gonna to move to the first fret of the high E string and we're gonna lift our pinky off of that third fret. We're gonna pinch the two outer strings together with our thumb and middle finger. Thumb drops to the D. Thumb goes to low E and then back to the D. Pretty simple section, not a lot of fretting movement, and again, just remember that thumb keeps that steady pulse. We'll look at section two right now. Section three is probably my favorite section of this song. It's gonna be measures five and six, and I love it because it's got this little descending feeling, and it's all over a G chord again. So we're gonna start with our pinky finger, actually pretty much where we left off, our pinky finger on the third fret of the high E, ring finger on the third fret of the low E. We're gonna pinch those two strings together with our thumb and middle finger. Thumb's gonna to move to the D string. You're gonna lift up your pinky, your Index finger on your fretting hand is gonna to drop to the first fret of the high E. Pinch those two strings together again. Thumb is then gonna to move to the D again. Lift up your index finger. Pinch those same two outer strings. Thumb's gonna to move to the D. Pinky's gonna to move to the third fret of the B. Now we're gonna pinch the low E and the B string together with our thumb and middle finger. And then thumb's gonna to drop to the D again. So it's if you want to keep track of it, it's like pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb. It'll kind of sound like this. This is something that helped me when I was first learning how to finger pick was to say what I was doing. So I would do something like this. Pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb, pinch, thumb. So that's section three. We'll have a look at it in detail right now. Section four finds us not only at the halfway point of the tune, but back at a C chord. So we're gonna make a C chord, ring finger, third fret of the A, middle finger, second fret of the D, index finger, first fret of the B, and we're gonna pinch, actually we're not gonna start off with a pinch here. We're gonna use our thumb on the A string, and then it's gonna move to the D string. We're gonna lower our pinky, grab the third fret of the high E string, pinch the A and the high E string together. Thumb's gonna move to the D, we're then gonna lift the pinky finger so the high E string's open. We're then gonna pinch the A string and the high E string together, like so. And then it's all thumb from here on out. Thumb goes to the D, to the A, back to the D. And remember to hold tight over a C chord through this whole entire section. We're keeping that bass going, and by holding down the chord, we're ensuring that we hit the right notes. So we're gonna have a look at section four right now, which is measure seven and eight. On to section five, measures nine and 10, and 
This is my second favorite part of this particular song because we're moving to an E minor here and you get to throw in some notes that I think they're dissonant. They kind of have this eerie sound, but they just fit with the tune and make it sound oh so good. So instead of making a full E minor chord, I just want you to hold your middle finger on the second fret of the D. This will suffice because we're just with finger picking, we're just kind of picking out the notes we need. So rather than make the full entire chord when we're just going to be hitting that note, well, we're just going to hold down that note and forget the rest of the chord. We're going to start with our thumb hitting the low E, then it's going to move to the D string, back to the low E. Our pointer finger on our fretting hand is going to grab the first fret of the high E, and with our thumb and middle finger on our picking hand, we're going to pinch the D string and the high E string together. Thumb's gonna move back to the low E, back to the D. Our pinky's gonna grab the third fret of the B string, and we're gonna pinch the low E string and the B string against one another with our thumb and middle finger again. And then thumb drops to the D. So section five will sound like this. And again, if it helps you kind of name what you're doing through the whole section just to keep your your picking hand on track it would sound something like this thumb 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 pinch thumb thumb pinch thumb so that's section five and we'll have a look at it in detail right here On to the sixth section of Freight Train, and this entire section, which is going to be measures 11 and 12, we're just holding down an F chord. In fact, we're going to do the same thing in measure 11 as we do in measure 12. So I'm only going to go over it once, but I want you to know that it's repeated. So we're going to make an F chord. Our index finger is going to bar both uh, the B and high E string at the first fret. Our middle finger is going to grab the second fret of the G, and ring finger the third fret of the D. We're going to start out by just kind of rocking our thumb back and forth between the D and G strings. You'll go thumb on the D, thumb on the G, thumb on the D, and then we're going to pinch the G and high E string together with our thumb and middle finger like so. So the basic pattern, and again you're going to do this twice, will be this. Thumb, 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 pinch. Do that two times in a row, and there you have it, section six. We'll look at it right now. Section seven is a truly glorious section because it is the end of the tune. And I think you'll notice now that you've had a chance to work through th some of these sections that your thumb is pretty much got the muscle memory to keep that thumping bass line going throughout the whole entire song. This section is no different. We're gonna start on the C chord and our thumb's gonna hit the A string, the D string, and then the A, like so. Our pinky finger is going to lower to the third fret of the high E, and we're going to pinch the D string and the high E string together with our thumb and middle finger. And then, keeping our pinky at the third fret of the high E, we're going to extend our ring finger up to the third fret of the low E, lift off your middle and index finger. Our thumb's going to hit the low E, then it's going to drop to the D. Then we're going to pinch the two outer strings with our thumb and middle finger. Thumb's then going to drop to the D again. And then we're going to make a C chord and just hit that A string. And there you have it, the end of Freight Train. We'll have a look at section seven right now.
I want to congratulate you on finishing up the song Freight Train, a classic finger-picking tune by Elizabeth Cotton. What you've just learned is the basic bones, rhythmic bones and the melodic bones of this tune. And once you know this version, you can go on and look at some of the more complex versions and say, hey, that simple version is still in there. So it's a very useful tune to get used to finger picking and it's just a classic tune that you kind of just need to know if you want to do finger picking. So with all that being said, again, congratulations and I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson. You've just finished one section of my six-part finger-picking jumpstart course. This is a course that takes you from knowing absolutely nothing about finger-picking all the way to being able to play a song with the technique. Now, each of these six lessons has corresponding tablature. Plus, at the end of doing all these lessons, you'll be able to play a simple arrangement of the tune Freight Train, but you'll need the tab to do so. So I've created a course guide which contains links to all six lessons, the tablature for each lesson, and the tablature for the arrangement of Freight Train. All you have to do to get this free course guide is click the link in the video or in the description. Thanks a lot for checking it out and I'll see you on the lessons.